so hello guys i just came from the supermarket and i want to show you how much just 14 us dollars and four cents will get you here in china for some groceries so i just bought a little bit of groceries because i have some stuff here already so here i have some chicken i have bought the leg and thigh they're two pieces and as you can see the prices here are in chinese money i got some sikia or octopus whatever here and i'm gonna stir fry this i got some sweet potatoes guys so i can make some sweet potato pie and check the price less than one us dollars for four big potatoes um some pumpkin here guys and you can see the price again less than one us dollar to corn so you can divide these prices that you're seeing by just seven to get the price i got some baking powder because i'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies guys so yeah um some vinegar i like this brand of vinegar and i bought some coffee some prunes some snacks uh a lemon you know this this thing here i'm not sure i never used it before but you put it inside the chicken when you're baking it and i bought some of these fruits um i was told that they're sweet i don't know the name but i want to try them and here is a bill guys in case you think that you know i'm telling lies or something here is the bill so you see is 160 renminbi which is just 14 one four point four zero us dollars isn't this amazing i just love to live in china ni hao hello my name is pamela stanford I am from Barbados. Uh, Barbados is a small country in the Caribbean in North America. I have been living here in China for the past five years. And I want to talk to you today about my expenses living here in China as a foreigner. So today I will take you through step by step how much money I spend here in China and you can see for yourself if you think it's expensive or if it's relatively cheap. Now, I'm a teacher here in China. And as a teacher, as a foreigner, you should say, a foreign teacher coming to China, you sign a contract. Your contract could be one year, two years, three years, you know, um, but most people would sign on for one year. So part of their contract coming here to China is that the schools would have to either provide accommodation for you free of charge or give you some kind of housing allowance. So today I want to walk through with you, you know, how much I would spend or did not have to spend on living here as a foreigner or as a teacher, foreign teacher here in China. Now, I teach at a university here in Lujo. And, you know, in my previous videos, you may have met some of my students. Um, if you have not watched those videos, I want you to kindly go back and take a look at my videos. They're very interesting and informative, guys. So remember to subscribe to my channel. I want you to like my channel as well and share my channel with your friends this can help my channel to grow guys and if you have any comments you can leave them there for me i will see them and i will respond to you so let's jump into this um topic you know i don't want to make this video very long today so when i first arrived in china i was living in a tier one city China has 613 cities and they're designed into tiers, tier one being the highest tier and tier four, obviously the lowest. So these tiers are, you know, designed by many factors such as the GDP, the um, politics, and also the population. So being an international city, Xinjiang, it was very um, expensive. You know very westernized you'll find that um 
in international cities or bigger cities, I should say, in what in any country, they're more expensive because one, foreigners like myself, you know, when we first came, come to China, we want to be comfortable. We don't know the language. We might not be able to speak the language. So we want to be more into um, a more westernized um, city, you know. Um, and also you'll find local Chinese people. They also want to be in the bigger cities to work. So they would move them from their smaller cities and work in the bigger cities. So again, these factories, you know, tend to drive up costs in the bigger city. Um, so um, I work in Shenzhen at a high school for three years. And as I stated before, in our contrast, the school will either provide us be free housing or an allowance. So I, the school had an apartment. Um, so I live in the apartment for free and they took care of all the utility bills, guys. They paid my water, electricity, internet gas everything for me so basically all i had to do was like um, buy food you know and pay my um cell phone bill my data plan plan and that was it so i didn't have a lot of expenses or anything like that now i moved to about three other cities in china so i want to talk to you guys about my last two cities where i would have more of a you know a record of what i spend because i want to give you accurate information so i have my notes here as well to also give you that quick information so from shenzhen living there teaching high school as i said i was there for three years and then i wanted a more authentic experience so i moved to a much smaller city called janjaje so Janjaje is where, if you ever watch the movie Avatar, is where the Avatar movie was taken. So um, Janjaje is very beautiful. It's a touristic city, very touristy, you know. Um, but it's more of like a tier, I guess, for city. So it, um, the cost of living there is much, much more cheaper than Shenzhen, the international city I was living in. Um, about three times cheaper so i was able to save more money there at in janjaje i should say um, in janjaje i taught at the university and the university again provided university again provided um free accommodations for me and they also paid the use the utility bills but guys in, at this school they had a cap on paying the bills so if you went over a certain amount of money in electricity you had to pay the balance yourself so my time at that university i did not really go over um i went over it twice in the winter time because you know in the winter time now it's very cold so you need some more heating so um the heating you know costs more money so um but it was not much. So after I left Janjaje, I went to a city called Bowden, and Bowden is near to Beijing. Um, it is forty-five minutes by high-speed train from Beijing, and they say that Bowden is the guardian of Beijing. So in this city, I was teaching at a high school, sorry, a university again. A university a very nice university called Hebei University and they provided free accommodations for me but I was living off campus this time into a, a complex with many Chinese people as well but it was a nice complex and they had other foreign teachers there as well so at this university now I had to pay for my own utilities. So I want to give you a, a breakdown of my utility bills for that month in Bowdoin. And then we will look at the city that I'm in now, you know, so that we can also make some comparisons. So like, for example, gas, internet, electricity, and water, I would pay between 300 to 400 rmb per month 
that was between 42 us dollars to 56 us dollars yes guys only 42 to 56 us dollars for gas internet electricity and water remember the school was paying for my rent so i did not have to deal with this um groceries now groceries in that city you know for month um um monthly you know and i live alone you know i would spend at least 120 us dollars a month this is for groceries meat vegetables you know different things i would spend money on groceries and taxis for that month but we only about 10 us dollars now i live relatively close to the school about 15 minutes walking distance so i would walk to school and walk back home so i did not have to you know um, take a bus or anything transportation to the school um when i left bowden i went back to my country because i was in china for five years without leaving china and I wanted to see my family. I wanted to take a break and travel the world. And I went to East Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, and Uganda. And if you have not seen my video, guys, go and look for my video. I will also link it in the description on how I, my budget, on how much money I spend in these four East African countries. And I also included Dubai as well because I made a stop for four days in Dubai. So I will link that in the description box and you can see my budget and how much I spend in East Africa and Dubai. So after I, I took a break for almost a year and I returned to China last November. So this is what, three months I have been in China, back into China. So guys, now after I return from my country, I was working, I'm working now at a new university in Lujo. So Lujo is a tier three city. And you know, Bowdoin, um, as I said, is a tier two city. So Lujo is a little cheaper, but not much cheaper. And guys, although that this city is a tier three city, very beautiful city, we still have some Western brands here, such as Walmart, KFC, McDonald's, you know, Pizza Hut, the Catalan, and many, many other international brands. So although you might have different tiers, it doesn't mean that, you know, it, it might be a place where to the back of nowhere, you know, you still have some of these Western flair in these cities. So this is three months i've been here now in dojo and i want to talk to you about you know my day-to-day -day spending so so far um for gas internet and electricity plus water i have not paid anything so far now my contract here says that you know i'm responsible for these bills um but rent is free i live in a very nice apartment here um, paid by the school, but I have to pay my own utilities. So, so far they have not, you know, told me, you know, how much money I need to pay, but I'm thinking that it will be, um, about the same I paid in Bowdoin, um, 42 to 56 US or even cheaper. I have a friend, she's in a different city. She's also from Barbados and she pays much more cheaper than, you know, me here than what i paid sorry in bowden because they have not paid anything here yet so far but i can tell you about my groceries so monthly my groceries come to about 300 renminbi rmb and that is about 112 us dollars a month again as i told you i live alone so you know um i don't spend a lot um in taxi i was paying like 14 us dollars here i live right next to my campus so i walk to and from school but I'd like to go around the city and see different things you know i take a taxi taxis here are called dds well we have taxis and dds are like uber 
So I would call it Didi, you know, and it's much cheaper than the regular taxi and, you know, go around with them. So, um, yes, that is about a hundred. That is about 14 US dollars, a hundred renminbi a month that I would spend on taxis. And a taxi can be like one dollar and fifty cent US each way. So, you know, it's very cheap for me. Um, data for my cell phone, I pay for my data and I paid about, um, how much do I pay? About eight dollars and forty cents per month. That's 60 renminbi. And this is for 10 gigabytes. Yes, 10 gigabytes. So 10 gigabytes will last me um, the uh, entire month. And sometimes it would roll over. So I just pay $8.40. Remember, guys, I have internet in my apartment. So when I home, I use my internet. I don't have to use my data. Um, My living expenses, I would say, would total... 250 us dollars a month and this include groceries so yeah i would say about 250 us a month um so if i add for example if i add overall cost of gas internet electricity water it would come about 300 us dollars a month and I think that's pretty reasonable I live in here in China and that exclude renting. Remember the schools pay for the rent or they would give you a housing allowance. Now, if they give you a housing allowance, guys, and you rent a house or apartment for more than the allowance, you have to subsidize the rest yourself, the balance yourself. And that's only fear. All the schools I've worked at, I always have free housing and I prefer free housing, guys, so that I don't have to worry about anything. You know, they take care of everything for me. You know, um, so let's talk about, you know, other day-to-day -day living here in China and the cost of some things here. So like I mentioned in this city, although it's not international, like my first city, which was Shenzhen, you know, I mentioned that it also, well, it still has some um, foreign brands. So, like, for example, if I want to go to Pizza Hut and order pizza for a six slice pizza, six slices, um, you can pay like eight US dollars. Um, if I want to go to KFC, you can get something like sandwich, fries, um, and drinks. And even nuggets, you know, for six dollars and eighty-five cents to seven US dollars for that whole deal. And I will put the pictures here, guys, so you can see with the prices. McDonald's, the prices are basically similar. So again, if you want to get burger, chicken, fries, and drink, you can pay like six dollars to seven dollars a meal. So um yeah um that's not bad to go to a a nice restaurant a nice restaurant guys you can pay like between 15 14 to 17 us dollars at the restaurant for your meal and if you want to go to a really high-end place like a, a nice five-star restaurant a five yeah five-star hotel because I mostly go to like hotels, restaurants, the buffets, uh, five stars. So if you want to go like to a five star um, hotel, restaurant, like for example, the Radisson Blue Hotel, um, their buffet dinner is 178 renminbi, which is about 25 US dollars. Um, and in my last video, you saw me went to the Lotus resort that is a very high-end hotel here in Lujo and the buffet was basically the same amount of money um most of the time when school is going on I would eat at the canteen uh, and you can get a lunch a meal at the canteen lunch or dinner for between one to two US dollars and that's a complete meal guys um 
right now the school is closed we are on vacation so i am on vacation i am might travel later on because we are getting ready to celebrate chinese new year so this is the year of the dragon guys and you can see me in my red my red chico, which is the chinese style you know chico. so here in china um red is supposed to be lucky means luck it is a china's lucky color so you will find that during chinese new year lots of people would wear red right so um what else do i uh, should i mention to you guys and guys if you have any questions again please comment below and i will tell you so as i said before you know my overall um living expenses here in china um is about 300 us dollars or cheaper because sometimes you know give or take you know uh, for leisure you know if i want to go to the movies i would pay between three to six us dollars depends on the time of day and what kind of movies um showing at a particular time so you can get movies in english or in chinese you can even get them with other english or chinese subtitles so I think that the latest one that I saw showing here is Aquaman. Um, I haven't been to the movies here, but I've been to the movies in other cities. And I like going to the movies because I like a nice, quiet life. Um, I'm not a party person, so I don't go partying. I drink socially, um, so I'm not a big spender. Guys, but I like nice things. Um, when I was living in Shenzhen, I would go to a hotel well, like once a month or so, and I would like to I like to rent a room with a big king size bed and bathtub. I love bathtubs, guys, and I would just stay there overnight and you know dine at their restaurants and stuff. So I like nice things. I like to give myself nice things as well. I do not do a lot of shopping. And if I have to buy anything, it's bought online because it's cheaper online. We have an online um, site here called Taobao. So you can find almost anything on Taobao. And Taobao is basically like Amazon. So you have different sellers on Taobao. So um, I recently bought a bag for myself, a coach bag. I'll show you here. And this cost me around 28 US dollars so yeah so sometimes i like to give myself nice things but i am not a very big spinner so i mostly like save my money i like traveling i tra i've traveled many places around the world you no know, over 50 places around the world and you know i i just like you know like my life how it is right now i just like it i don't have any kids or anything like that you know i feel like i'm free to roam wherever i want to go so i am thinking if i forget to tell you anything so uh, if there's anything else guys that you need to know please let me know i am always here to answer your questions and again don't forget to like this video and subscribe and guys i will see you in my next video and remember to look at the video on africa how much money i spent in africa east africa in these four countries so go goodbye guys i'll see you later and thank you very much for watching thank you for your subscription and until i see you again goodbye